what's going on y'all it's your boy divine and let's talk blue beetle i really enjoyed this movie man from start to finish it was such a fun film man i just can't stress that enough it was such a fun movie to watch and i was so surprised by that because the last couple dceu movies i didn't quite enjoy the flash i thought was okay it should have been a lot better shazam 2 i did not enjoy black adam i did not enjoy so walking into this movie i was really scared but i end up walking out very happy now look does the movie have its problems yes it does and i will break down some of the problems but overall it's a good film so let's get to this review enough yipping let's talk about the characters in this movie and let me specifically say the family members blue beetle himself he did a great job carrying the movie he definitely has a bright future being a star of films and i know he was in cobra kai and he did a great job in that as well this movie took the family aspect and said you know what let's make this authentic i can see this family just walking down the street just how they interacted within the movie i'm guessing they had to take some time on set and off set to just build up some of that natural chemistry between all the characters between the dad the mom blue beetle his sister george lopez and oh my god george lopez he stole every scene in the theater people were just laughing whenever his character had anything to say because he smoked the line delivery he smoked the jokes this is what happens when you take a comedian pro and you just put him into a film and say just do your thing act this way do your thing no he killed it man i really enjoy george lopez in this movie and all of the actors did such a great job one person unexpectedly who stole the show in this one particular scene was his sister when the father died and she's screaming for blue beer she's screaming and she's crying honestly i hear people in the theater gasping because it was quiet like, I'm not saying this is Oscar winning awards or anything like that because this movie isn't perfect. But just that scene alone really made that movie so good. And I really enjoyed that scene because it really made me feel like, damn, her father really did die. So again, the casting directors did a phenomenal job just putting this family together. Jenny Cord and Blue Beetle has such a great relationship as well. I'm looking forward to see how their chemistry develop more and more towards the other movies and maybe a TV show in the future. It depends on what James Gunn wants to do with the characters since he's rebooting the whole franchise. But them two have some really good chemistry and I can't wait to see what them two do more in the future as well. This whole family just need to come with whatever the character does because they really make the character so much better. Yes, this is a character section, but we're going to talk about the villains particularly right now in the next section, the story. When it comes to the story of this movie, it's very simplistic. It's hard to realize it because of the amazing chemistry with the family members and because of the amazing comedy within the movie itself. For an example, the villains. You see, I mentioned all the characters but the two villains. When I look at Victoria Cord, she was very charismatic, but she came off so bland. And I felt like she could have did a lot better with a, a more amazing motive than just wanting to steal the scarab to make an army that's just very generic when you say that out loud how many other movies have that same type of premise of the villain just wanting to take a piece of tech to just make it more of a military use so generic and then also comrade he was also generic and his lines was so stale he barely spoke in the movie he's like a generic villain of the one that's badass who don't say nothing pop up at times just to show off his skill he got the scar on the side of his face almost like a thousand villains in other movies again the word generic comes up when i talk about the two villains i felt like the writers put a lot more time when establishing the chemistry of the family and didn't do the same thing when it comes to the villains so hopefully in a sequel the villains get some extra justice and when it comes to the movie i think they should have just added more background information on the villains they should have added more scenes more explanation for their motives instead of having comrade get his origin story at the end with the flashbacks they should have sprinkled in some flashbacks throughout the movie or maybe just give us the flashback earlier in the movie so we know what his motives is going forward instead of just throwing it in at the end where most of the viewers are kind of already over his stale character i think that both of the actors are good actors and actresses 
but they just didn't have that much to work with because of the writers in this movie. And also to add on to the word generic, they should have been a bit more unique with a lot of the elements because the story is just the hero took something from the villain, the villain wants it back. The hero family is going through money problems. That right there kind of sums up the whole story. But overall, the story is really decent. It's really okay. The villains are decent okay to somewhat bad territory but everything else honestly in a sequel if they can just fix their villain problem and add more unique elements to the storytelling they may have a perfect movie on their hands here so i'm really excited for the sequel of what they do with the villains in the story and see if they learn from their mistakes and one thing about this movie it brings back that magic to the superhero origin story the origin of the character it just brings back their early 2000s early mcu early dc movie days of just the character origin movies and it just brings back that magic and it does make you feel like a kid again if you've been watching these movies for a long time next i want to talk about the cgi and what i mean by the cgi blue beetle suit it was perfect. The perfect design representation of taking something from the source material and putting it into a different medium. It looked amazing on screen. I'm so happy they didn't just throw CGI right over top of it and now it'll look all mushy and nasty when it's running around on screen. No, they kept it practical. They used a practical suit on set and they just use a little bit of cgi with the weapons and a little bit of cgi with his movement they didn't overdo it and i really appreciated that when you look at this movie the suit feel like an actual suit you could find and have on your body and wear so shout out to all cosplayers because y'all finna have it really easy when trying to make this suit because it's so practical and also when it comes to the cgi the buildings and everything in the background look great with a lot of the holographic technology the only cgi problem i had was with the villain because when he would run around with his red suit it looked really wonky it looked really weird his cgi was the only ones that i think wasn't really finished i think they must have put more of their budget into blue beetle suit and not his even a lot of his special effects didn't really seem as well done as blue beetles in my opinion but i think honestly the cgi was pretty decent in this movie it has a couple bad shots but the other shots are more polished as well like the space scene when he's in orbit is polished the bus scene is polished but then a lot of the fight scenes isn't polished because of his enemy look overall y'all i know i was very nitpicky on the villains and a little nitpicky on the cgi and i did mention some bad things about the story overall all those things i just mentioned was very small in the grand scheme of all the great things in this movie like i said it was a really refreshing take on the origin story genre when it comes to superheroes I just enjoyed the comedy and again I cannot stress this as much the characters Blue Beetle and his family smoked it and all the positives in this movie overtakes the negatives a thousand times so again this movie is a really good film it's not perfect it's not gonna be up there with the spider-man 2s and the dark knights and the avengers in games and infinite no it's not perfect like those films but this is a decent and amazing add to the superhero genre and i can't wait till they do more with the character because if they can fix the problems i mentioned i can see the sequel being up there with some of the best movies ever within this genre of superheroes so if i had to give this movie a rating i would say right now i'm comfortable with a 7 point five out of ten if i had to push it to the highest rating i can if i see it again probably an eight out of ten at the highest but right now i'm feeling more comfortable with a 7.5 out of 10 with all the mistakes i mentioned but go see it for yourselves let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the movie or if you're planning to see it that's about it for the video i want to let y'all know i have a tiktok now so if y'all want to see this amazing face of mine and i upload daily so you can always catch my opinions and thoughts on everything going on i got a new video dropping on tuesday or wednesday about things the mcu need to do because look, they got a lot of mess going on, a lot of disorganization, and I'm going to give them some props and plans to help fix things and get things right back on track, all right? 
So, I love y'all. I appreciate all the support on my channel. I don't got that much videos up, but I'm going to keep grinding, keep pushing. I record all my videos in the car. So, just know, y'all, I'm putting in work. I will catch y'all on the flip side.